Alrighty, artists, welcome to video two of our Andy Warhol inspired artwork tutorial. Um, what we are going to do is now we need to copy paste essentially this image um, three times in order to fill up the entire page. So what we need to do is go over to our layers panel and make sure that we have selected left click Jason Momoa hold down shift and select layer one so that the layer one and Jason Moore or your celebrity are both highlighted. We need to right click and duplicate layers. Click OK. And if we're on our move tool, we should be able to move that to the next area. Now I am going to do the same thing is again, left click, shift, hold down layer one again, and then right click, duplicate layers. Okay, move tool. It always copies on the image that you copied from. So you'll notice he'll pop up right on top of that last image. Click the move tool and move him down. And we're going to do this one more time. Again, highlighting Jason Momoa, shift, and layer. Right click, duplicate layers. OK. Make sure we're on our move tool. And we can move that over this way. So now we do have our image repeated four times. Um, but we do want to transform our images on the right side, these two so that the shoulders line up really nicely. So now what we're going to do is make sure we are on the right layer. So we want to do the top right image first. So if you look at our little images in our layer panel, I need to find the image of the top right picture of Jason Momoa. And I need to um, actually make sure we can flip this image. So what we're going to do is we are going to go up to edit and we are going to um, transform and what you'll see is there's a little selection that pops up here under transform so we are going to flip it horizontally so click flip horizontal and voila we can line those images right up if we simply move this image inwards with our move tool. So now we need to find our bottom right image on our layer panel and do the same thing. So I see the bottom right. If I look here, make sure I have that layer selected. Go to file again. I apologize, not file. We go to edit, transform, and flip horizontal again. Make sure we're on our move tool and move him inwards so that the shoulders are coming out from that same access point. So that is looking pretty good. Um, now at this point, you can edit the pictures in the backgrounds of the pictures. So um, what we are going to do is go to the background um, images for each layer here. So we're going to go down to the first green box layer that we have. What you can do is um, play around with gradients for this. So if you double click that layer, we can go in and change the background to a gradient overlay which is super cool. You can experiment plenty with this depending on what color scheme you would like to create. Um, you might not even do crazy gradients. You might do something simple for each one. But again, when you're under gradient, you can go to the arrow next to gradient, and in all of these little files, if we click the arrow button, we see multiple different gradients that you can choose. So um, let's say I want to do a cool colored 
cool colored for two corners and then warm colored for the other two colors. Let's do like uh, blue and purple maybe would be kind of fun for a gradient. I can then choose the style of the gradient. The, do I want it to be radial? Can't really see that, so no. Do I want it reflected? That's kind of cool. So I might stick with reflected for that one. Click OK. Once I'm good with that, then I can go to my next layer here. Double click my new layer. Now I'm on the top right layer. Again, click Gradient Overlay box. Make sure I'm in Gradient Overlay by clicking the entire rectangle here. And now maybe I can do a warm color for the top right that contrasts from that blue. So maybe I'll do something like red or pink, something completely different from the last one. Gradient from purple to pink is kind of cool. We'll go with that. Click OK. Now I'll do my bottom left layer. Double click that one and go to gradient, gradient overlay. I'll do another warm color scheme for this one with orange and yellow. Ooh, I really like that. So orange and yellow. And then lastly, my last layer, which is my bottom right, I can do another cool color. Go to our gradient overlay and choose maybe like a green and blue tone. Something like that would be cool. Okay, so play around with gradients and have some fun with that. Now the last step is you can actually edit each of the photos as well.